Who would think that purple paint is impossible to find? But here we are. We're in Newfoundland. We can't get anything here. So I don't want to paint this black. I don't like black. It's fine. You know, it's clean and all, but I don't like it. So what I have is this metal cast paint. What it's made for is to go over. It's, it's like an anodizer. So you could clean up this counter, spray it, and it would be purple. But if you sprayed this black on this gun, it wouldn't do anything because it's more of a tint. So what I'm thinking about doing is cleaning this up, spraying it like a really bright silver or white, and then spray it with the metal cast to see if it works. Here's our test piece. This is a valve cover, and if it works out, I'll use this one. So it's real greasy and grimy. You can see that, you know, it's nasty. But then under it is bare aluminum, so I'm going to spray it over with some sort of silver or white and see how it comes out. Just for a laugh, I'm going to let it soak in some gun wash for a little bit. This is reused, and it's really dirty, but I kind of want to see what it'll do to the old oil and stuff that's on this. Let's let this sit for five or six minutes and we'll come back and check on it. While we're waiting for our valve cover and soak, I'm going to start pulling some pistons out of this because hopefully, fingers crossed, my pistons and rods will be in today. Also, I got to show off the shirt that Cass made me. This is so cool. All right, it's been in soak for a couple of minutes. A little bit of stuff out of it, but. Gun wash didn't do a lot. Wire wheel it is. Here we go. So that's pretty much cleaned up. I'll spray some brake cleaner on it to degrease it. And then I'm gonna try just a metal cast over here and spray some silver and the metal cast here to see what the difference is, see if it worked well. Okay, let's turn off this light so it's not as abrasive. So here we have Duplicolor engine enamel, aluminum. That's what I'm gonna try because I sprayed it on here and it sort of looks silverish and it'll uh, duplicate this aluminum, I think really well. Give it a shake. I'm going to try and spray just half. Probably going to have some defects and fish eyes and stuff in it because I didn't go and degrease the life out of it or anything. But we can see we pretty well got a line here where it's going to be different. So in a few minutes, when this dries or a half an hour or so, I'll come back and I'll just spray over the whole thing and see if we have a lot of difference here. So when I was logging knock, I'd be just driving down the road and it would be freaking out, taking out five, six degrees on light acceleration. And when I'd get into it, I'd have no knock retard. And I was kind of wondering why until I pulled this off. Wire broke. Connector messed up. The knock sensor is broke. So I imagine this might have something to do with my knock sensors freaking out. And this is why I keep every wire that I scrap from LS harnesses. There we go. Problem solved. That looks dry enough for a test. It's not tacky anymore anyway. kind of like it better on the side that's painted actually huh cool so 
Of course, this is just a test piece and I only cleaned up that little bit and I didn't clean up over on the edges and stuff. But that doesn't look too bad for the first coat. When I did the turbo, I had to do like five or six coats before it started to look even. So I'm really happy with that actually. Hopefully it darkens up and hopefully, hopefully Cass likes it. This gun wash probably doesn't have any strength left in it, but I don't want to scratch all that off with a wire wheel. So I'm going to leave it in all night just to see how it works. And we'll throw this one in. Yeah. And our front cover, I'll put a new crank seal in that one. It'd be kind of cool if I tore some of the paint off or all. I'm also going to take off this top cover because it is really oily and greasy. Bye-bye. Got some exciting news. I got a package come today from same day. I've never done an unboxing before. This is kind of exciting. Let's make sure nothing's busted up. Oh, what an awesome job they did. What an awesome job you guys did packaging this up. I don't expect there to be any damage with this. Open one up. Let's see what we got. This is difficult to open actually. Gen 4, snap rings are in here, dimple, dish pistons with valve relief. So this will work perfect with the LS6 cam. And this is what I was talking about with the dish here, making it lower compression. And that's why I'm going to put on the 5.3 heads, which you can see like right there, sneaking in there. There we go. So they'll raise the compression to 10.5 to 1 with these pistons. And this is going to work absolutely perfect. So this is going to be a huge shout out to Jordan Glover. He's on YouTube. Check him out. He's got a wicked, wicked Fox Mustang with an LS Turbo in it. And uh, uh, you'll like it. So my next job now is to get all the pistons in the engine. Clean it up. Paint it. And then reassemble it. 